Hey guys, in this video we'll take a look at the map behind the new reworked version of the Harmony jewelry trade that's currently on the public test server. The way Harmony works right now on the live server is it increases damage, healing, resource store and damage shield strength of synergies you activate by 20%. So with 3 Harmony pieces you'll get 60% increase. The damage increase is obviously not that important for a tank. The healing increase is negligible in every place except Cloudrest where amplifying overflowing altar can really help without healing the baneful mark. The only synergy that provides a damage shield is Bone Surge, so the part about increasing strength of damage shields can also be ignored. The part that's most important is increasing the resource restore. The combustion synergy provides 3960 of your dominant resource when used, and with triple harmony this will be increased to 6336. So these three harmony traits provide 2376 of your dominant resource, which most of the times will be stamina, every 20 seconds because that's the cooldown of every synergy. That's a very small amount that gets completely outclassed by the infused trait. The new harmony will instead restore 880 health, stamina and magicka whenever you use any synergy. And this is a massive improvement over the old harmony sustain wise. If you compare it to just using one synergy, combustion, the new harmony provides 264 more stamina and 2640 more of magicka and health. And that's just with a single synergy. The new harmony will restore this much resources whenever you use any synergy. If you have a Templar in group, you should also be getting the Purify synergy every 20 seconds, which just like Combustion isn't limited to a single person and can be used by everyone. You will also occasionally get the Blood Funnel synergy from Overflowing Altar whenever your health drops low. Then there's also stuff like Harvest, Conduit or Grave Robber, but these can be used only by one person per cast, so your Alkers DD has priority for those. So is this new harmony better than Infused? It depends on the situation, amount of synergies and if you want to prioritize one of the resources. We're gonna compare the resources you'd get from three different setups. I'm gonna use Healy's calculator spreadsheet for that purpose. You'll find a link to this channel in the description. The first setup will be triple infused, boosting prismatic cost reduction enchants, with one medium and one light armor piece. It's important because the evocation and windwalker passives will reduce effectiveness of the cost reduction enchants. We're gonna assume that half of your casts are stamina skills and half are magicka skills. That's something you'd normally use on a Dragonite while utilizing Stone Giant. This setup will be saving you 39.1 stamina and magicka per second. Next setup will be triple infused, boosting magicka cost reduction enchants. Again with one medium and one light armor piece. We're gonna assume that 90% of your casts are magicka skills and 10% are stamina skills. That's something you'd normally use on a Necromancer tank where your only stamina skill is Pierce Armor. This setup will be saving you 107.43 magicka per second. Next setup will be the Triple Harmony. We're gonna assume that you have access to constant combustion and purify synergy. This should give 6 synergies per minute in a perfect scenario. But let's make it 5 since it's not realistic to proc them exactly on cooldown. With those 5 synergies, the Triple Harmony will restore 73.33 stamina and magicka per second. Another thing that's difficult to account for is that infused cost reduction kind of increases your max resources as in you can store up more casts with fewer max resources because skills are cheaper. It's what makes the Orzorga food viable because you can cast decent amount of skills with your max stamina being as low as 18k. But you aren't completely giving up cost reduction because you'd still use it with the harmony trait. So fortunately there is no straight up better option and you'll be able to gain a lot from mid maxing and preparing for each encounter. You'll have to look at four variables when deciding. First. How many synergies are you going to get? You should be getting the combustion synergy in every group and if there's a Templar you should also be getting Purify every 20 seconds. These two synergies are the most important because you using them doesn't take them away from other group members. Using for example Conduit or Grave Robber means that you took it from another group member, which you shouldn't be doing if there's an Alkosh DD in your group. If there is no Alkosh DD then there's no issue with that and that makes Harmony even stronger because you can just spam synergies. Second. Position. You can't really use Harmony on fights like for example Talaria, Locustis range tanking or basically any fight where you'll be away from your group because not many synergies are going to reach you. However, it's going to be great on fights like Falgraven where you're basically staying in the middle for the entire fight. Third, do you need both resources or do you need to focus on one of them? As you could see, cost reduction is much stronger when you focus on one resource, like for example focusing on just Magicka on a Necromancer or Warden, who usually have Pierce Armor as their only stamina skill. If you need both Stamina and Magicka, then Harmony grows stronger. And fourth, can you run Orzorga Smoked Bearhound slash Jewels of Mistral Food with Harmony? As I said before, having lower skill costs indirectly increases your max resources. You can basically store up more skill casts. So when something dangerous happens, you can spam more healing or shielding skills in a quick succession. 
This is obviously something you can learn to play around, but if you can't play around it, and it would force you into running bewitched sugar schools, then harmony stops being worth it because the stamina and magical recovery from Orzorga food will simply provide more. If I were to sum it up, I'd say that in general harmony will be better if you have a Templar in your group providing purify, and if you have combustion, but that should be obvious in every group. But that's just dumbing it down, since the choice between infused and harmony will depend on specific encounters, and I encourage you to use the calculator spreadsheet yourself. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.